I've always had an interest in wildlife and um, since I was not in the country for a fair bit of time, since I've been back, I've been intending to cover all the wildlife reserves in India and eventually COVID happened so that uh, it, it put a halt to that and uh, then I started visiting Kanha, visiting Bandipur and uh, earlier this year I had visited Bandipur and I fell so much in love with the environs that uh, I immediately wanted to visit Kabini as well, it's, uh, its elder sister, right? So as luck would have it, at that time I chanced upon your uh, organization on Instagram and it just came to me like uh, Providence, right? And uh, I immediately signed up for it. Well, you know, when you were, we were in Pench together, you mentioned that you're coming to, you're doing a trip to Kabini, and I was really interested. In fact, I made you change your dates to suit me, <laughs> and you very kindly did so. So uh, I decided to join the trip. I heard about Shasha from and Vaidalas from Flecka and she asked me would you like to come and I was of course very interested because I've never been on a safari in India so it's my first safari and that's how I landed up coming. We had been to Kana with you and we thought we'll take the second time and I didn't think anything can be better than Kana but Kabini turned out to be better than Kana also. We were very happy from the time we met you in Bangalore until today, just now, with one more safari remaining, which I'm sure will be the icing on the cake. We really loved the whole experience of not only watching the big five of Kabini, but also watching all the other birds, watching the spotted deer, the samba deer, the mongoose. It was extremely interesting. The tiger and the leopard were, of course, the star of the show, but even without them, we really enjoyed. So again, uh, see, uh, I've seen uh, the uh, Kanha also, where the landscape was different, the forest area was different. It had different uh, types of forest within itself. This was absolutely a dense, evergreen forest, the rain was, it made it more beautiful. The, I could even like with the telescope, Shashank, has, you've taught me how to use a telescope well, so you know, seeing the tiny drops of water from the twigs on the trees. I was not telling you all, but I was watching all this also, along with the birds, so absolutely brilliant sight and uh, the forest in monsoon is unbelievable really enjoyed the the whole ecosystem was very good and the forest played a big part in that absolutely lush green from the minute you enter you're breathing probably the freshest oxygen ever you know and that makes such a big difference to your mood and to your feeling you get and drive inside the forest and you don't need to see any animals or anything just soaking in the forest and taking it on to yourself is absolutely a good experience. The birds, again the deer, we saw some cows and even we were glad to encounter some human beings in the form of tribals there who are busy working for, for in their hometown actually, literally. We saw actually quite a lot. We saw a tiger, we saw a leopard, we saw a bear, tuskers, Elephants and what else did we see? We saw wild dogs. And what about all the birds we saw? Yeah, a lot of birds. Yeah, eagles and, and peacocks dancing, which was, and all in one area. The peacocks were dancing in one area. So one, one finished, the next one started. Yeah. It was quite fascinating. Actually. And there was one peahen. <laughs> <laughs> so many for the peahen. <laughs> And the most fascinating was the leopard just walking nonchalantly in front of us as if, you know, he owns the whole jungle. No, but that, before that, the chase, when we heard the lagoon calls and then, you know, we chased the sounds and then we saw the leopard. That was amazing. Yeah. I am specifically very intrigued uh, about the Malabar giant squirrel, still. 
uh, above and beyond the leopard and the tiger uh, whom we met. I have not seen the Malabar giant squirrel and I'm specially intrigued by it because it's endemic to this location. Of course, the elusive big cats are always there, you know, they are a given win for anybody. But I would think it's the Malabar giant squirrel and the Malabar parakeet that we just saw flying across. And uh, I'm a bit of a birder, so I really enjoyed seeing the, you know, watch, watching the birds of prey, specifically the crested uh, hawk eagle and the crested serpent eagle, both of them. And yeah, the three bear bears today, the bear family, the mom and the two little cubs. I'll dream of that for a long time. What about the tiger, which was sitting just off the road for ever so long, I think for around 10 minutes or something, and uh, calling out to uh, her cubs. It was, and calmly then uh, marking her territory and walking across. It was really fascinating. And I've always told you, Shachat, I want to see a tiger in front of me on the road. <laughs> Yeah, and all the sightings were actually pretty up close. This property is so beautiful. It is so beautiful than what you described to me and what you described in the group. It is like 2000 times better than what I was expecting. I have no words. I have no words. The stay, as usual, was very, very good. Right from the moment we had that special, Kabini special drink here, you know, with the ginger one, it started off. The tent lodges were a different experience. The feel of the tent was very, very good. And to see all the tiny different kinds of, you know, insects like Billy Bug, that was the first time I saw, uh, saw that. Oh, absolutely a great uh, thing. So many of the other uh, insects and uh, tiny organisms or whatever you call it. Uh, to, uh, it's lush green and beauty all over if you can really appreciate the beauty of nature. And beautiful heritage buildings and Papa John's room also was an interesting side, side light of this trip. Amazing property which in itself is an entire, you know, a sm small version of a forest. You get a good feel, you walk around, lot of space to walk around, to see, to admire nature. Two seems to be a very experienced driver and tracker. He seems to know exactly what he's doing and you're lucky to get him every time. Huh? I'll say one thing. He was really good. Yeah. He, was, he was really good. Yeah. What else? I mean, even the lodge is like so lovely, you know, along the river, uh, the greenery, everything is good. I mean, I enjoy driving myself, so I know the kind of skill and the kind of patience it needs to just not worry and know the, have the skill set to navigate any kind of such difficult terrain. This is very difficult terrain. So, of course, Muthu is a brilliant guide. He has all his senses at its, you know, at their sharpest to detect the smallest movements and the sounds. Uh, and this is an additional skill set that I notice. Right? And uh, he has been very diligent about taking us, uh, giving us the best experience. Right. And uh, I appreciate the, the involvement that he has had with all of us, with our team over the past few days and the, 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 personal, the personal involvement, right? That he takes accountability to show us in the best possible way, uh, you know, take us through the forest in the best possible way. When I met Shashank, I have been through many wildlife enthusiasts and me myself being wildlife enthusiasts. Then I met him in last year in December. I was like, you know, dude, this is this is like the person who, you know, you, you should be there. You should contact him, right? Such an amazing guy, such a humble guy, you know.
you know, you ask one million questions, he's always there for you. He always has an answer for it. And the way he, uh, you know, takes care of the entire group, which is very difficult when it comes to, you know, ballet photography and etc. Yeah, I think this is just the beginning for me. This was my first trip with you and your organization. And philosophically, I think I'm very aligned with your vision and mission, right? And uh, and it's wonderful to discuss things with you because, um, you know, I think all of us, we read up things, we, we do our own bit of research and studies and you, I think, are a very patient listener and as a leader of this pack, um, I really think you gave all of us a lot of patient hearing even when you were multitasking in your head and listening to calls and everything you might have stopped us but you always came back to where you had left a conversation and I really appreciate these fine uh, nuances in empathy you are a very empathic person to you know to lead a group so I really appreciate that. That was an amazing, amazing safari, guys. Uh, if you would like to, in fact, join us on our safari tours and expeditions, uh, please do connect with us on the platforms mentioned below. And if you'd like to know more on India's wildlife and our protected areas, please do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.